Welcome back to The Painting Coach, where I'll show you how to go from this to this, as we look at how to use contrast paints to get some really great results. The first thing we need to do is get a decent gradient on the model, as this is really going to help with highlights and depth. So to do this, I've sprayed the model with Mechanica Standard Grey, and then I've sprayed Corax White directly from above. Next, I want to accentuate some of those shadows. So to do this, I've taken some Basilicanum Grey and I've mixed this four parts contrast medium to one part Basilicanum Grey. And I'm going to paint this over all the model and it's giving me some really nice soft shadows. Just be careful, it doesn't pool too much in some of those deeper recesses. And next up, I really want to accentuate the highlights. So I'm just going to take some white scar and I'm going to edge highlight all of those prominent areas, such as any sharp edges on the armor, the detonator, the hands, the head, Anything where there's going to be a highlight, we're going to pop some white scar. Now, on the normal rank and file models, you really don't have to do this, uh, but for those HQ and special models, it really does help. So let's get to using the colours. Now, generally with contrast paints, we want to go from the lighter colours to the darker colours first. So we're going to start off with Space Wolves Grey, and I'm going to use this over all of the clothing. Now, this is a fairly light colour, so I'm going to use two coats to get the effect that I want. Next up, we'll paint the flesh as well as those gene stealer parts. So the colour we're going to use for this is Magos Purple. And when we're painting the skin, so this is that one good arm as well as the head, we're going to mix it one to one with contrast medium. And make sure you haven't got too much on your brush. For those gene sealer claws, as well as the inside of that exoskeleton, we're just going to use pure Magos purple. And like we did with that Space World's Grey before, we are going to use two coats, so make sure the first one dries before you do the second one. Next up, we'll do some yellow accents using the and Yellow Contrast Paint. The good news is it didn't recall me putting the first coat on, but you can watch me putting the second coat on to get a really nice bright yellow effect there. Use this for any areas you want to paint hazards. Next up, we're going to paint all those grey parts of armour, and for this, we're going to use Basilicane and grey. I'm also going to paint that main detonator as well as the remote detonator in that colour as well. So just get it on there, spread it out, and again, make sure you don't have too much on your brush to start. I hope you can see this is coming together now, and I can't re-emphasise enough that you don't have too much paint on your brush. So we'll go on to the leather next, and the colour we're going to use for this is Go Grunt of Fur, and as we've done with everything else, we just want to carefully place this over the pre-highlighting and underpainting that we've already done. Next up, I'll show you how to do a little bit of blending with contrast paint. So we're going to do this on those gene sealer type arms. So first off, we want to take some Talisar Blue and paint the top 75% of the arm, taking care not to paint over anything you've already finished. Whilst that Talisar Blue is still wet, take some Leviadon Blue and paint this on the bottom 25%. And what you'll start to see is that the colours will blend together. Now once this top layer of Talisar Blue is dry, apply another layer of Talisar Blue and this will give you that really nice bright blue effect. While we've got that Leviadon Blue out, let's paint all of those sharp claws and fingernails on the model. Now take your time with this because we do have some lighter colours to do later on. So we are breaking the rules a little bit, but it's worth it just to get these claws finished. With that part of the model done, let's get on to some of the accessories. So we're going to paint the dynamite sticks next, and the colour we're going to use this is Blood Angel's Red Contrast Paint. Now this is quite opaque, so make sure you've got very little on your brush and just build it up gradually. Moving on to Flesh Terror's Red, we'll now paint one of the most prominent parts of the model, which is that lovely flowing cloak. So take a slightly bigger brush than you've been using so far and paint the Flesh Terror's Red over all that cloak and the underpainting will really help you here in terms of getting the shadow, midtone, and highlight. Just be careful you don't let it pool in the recesses and that you don't get brush strokes through it. So you may need to just work it a little bit to get a nice smooth finish. With that Flesh Terror's Red dry, it really frames the model nicely so we can see where we're going. So what we want to do is finish the last major area now and that's all of that padding as well as the boots. So the colour we're going to use this is Black Templar's Contrast Paint and we want to just be careful with this because if we put it on too thick it'll be really opaque. So just apply it slowly and get around all that bodysuit and the padding and those boots and then see how you feel. If you want to put a second coat on you can, otherwise you can just leave it and we'll move on to all the little bits. While we've got that Black Templar on the palette, we can also paint in some of these hazard stripes. So just take your time, get a good point on your brush, and just space them out nice and evenly around those yellow bands that you've got. Once that's done, colour them in, let it dry, and then add another layer just to get the thickness and the coverage you need. Whilst it would be great to paint the entire model in just contrast, I am going to have to use a silver metallic. So the colour for this is Iron Hand Steel. I'm going to use this over all of those silver parts, such as the grenades, any clasps, as early when you bits of wire on the detonator. To shade all of the parts that are going to remain silver, I'm going to take some black Templars and mix this one-to-one -one with contrast medium, which gives me a nice thin effect. 
wipe it off your brush and then apply it as you would a wash like nail oil now it's important not to put this on those metallics that we're going to actually paint a different color so just focus on the silver parts next for the gold and brassy effects, we'll simply use some Nasdreg yellow on any gold areas and Agaros dunes on any bronzy brass areas. This is a really easy way of getting a great effect. And lastly, we've got some screens as well as the goggles to do. So for all those screens and some buttons, I'm going to use Warp Lightning. And for those goggles, I'm going to make them pop using Griffhound Orange. So there you have it. There's this Gene Stealer Cult's Reductus Saboteur complete, done, ready for the tabletop to cause carnage. I really hope you enjoyed the video and you learned a little bit more about how to use contrast paints. If you like this content, check out some of my other videos. Leave a like, leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.